Hey, hey, y'all. It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Come on in. It's been a while. It's been a bit. But I've been busy, y'all. Um, oh, no, nope, the sound's still off. I've been busy, busy, busy. Just pulling y'all up. Got something on my glasses. Good morning, good morning. Clean those up. So we are gonna do the 2022 version of the turkey. Gobble gobble. Good morning, Elizabeth. And Donna and Brenda and all y'all. <laughs> So we are going to do the other half of the board. So here is your layout. If y'all want to screenshot that. Hello, hello. It's Tucky Day. So I'm not putting anything in the middle because that's where our turkey head's going to go. I'm thinking. Now that may change. We all know that. But this turkey, um, Marcia usually makes these for us. Um, and I'm so sad this year she's not going to be able to make them. Um, but I have enlisted the help of Ivith Wright. So she is going to be making our turkey heads. So y'all know Ivith is amazing. Um, so we're still supporting another small business um, and, and giving Marsha the, the grace she needs. Um, so here is the turkey we are using. Um, Ibeth will have these available shortly, so just 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 wait just a minute. And um, she'll be sending me some pics. Um, and then I will pick up a couple at Crafters Convention next week. So, this set came with, now this is the little girl, um, and it came with the legs, so we're going to be using those. But I did just put my cable mount on there, so let's set it aside, let it dry. Um, I also have the cat kit available so you get the character board you get the cat vinyl you get 200 yards of the black tool and you get your zip ties to make the gorgeous cat so you can turn it into a halloween cat just add a halloween bow or just an everyday cat um, but that is available on my website monkeyscreations.com um, and i believe it's like 28 dollars um so you can go grab those after we do this turkey, okay? So let me bring you down. Now we are still using the 3D Daisy Petal, y'all. I love that um, that petal, and I agreed with y'all. It will make a gorgeous turkey. So um, let's make a petal. What am I using? So here on, I as you can see, I added some extra holes to try to put, girl, no, it's so easy, I promise. Um, so you can see I added extra holes, but I did switch it up because on the rainbow, I did the in-between as well. Um, but this time I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna let the petals kind of stay big. Um, so, on row 1, there's 12 petals. On row 2, there's 15. On row 3, there's 11. And then 7. Okay, so that is going to be my layout. Yes, Deb, it's on my um, YouTube channel, Monkey's Creations, on YouTube. All my videos get uploaded to YouTube, y'all. So if you're, you're not seeing one here on Facebook, um, I usually don't keep them here on Facebook long, but I've gotten lazy. Not lazy, I'm just busy and I, I forget to take them off, but they are all on YouTube, okay? So let's make a petal. 
let's start with the orange because that is going to be our first row. So these are 10 by 10. Grab a couple of zip ties and curve side up. We're going to bring bottom to the middle. We're going to bring top down and just kind of overlap them just like this. And we're going to bring left to right or right to left, depending on whether you're right or left handed. Um, I know I'm definitely not lazy, but I, I, I get for, I've been forgetful lately. <laughs> and we're just going to bring it down and meet those tips. Hello, hello. Okay, we're going to grab our Senna, bring your edges together, zip tie that, just like that. We're going to separate those two pieces, take another zip tie, run it up, zip it walk it up use your fingers as a guide tighten it and tighten it okay so that's our pedal okay just kind of pulling it out and let's cut how long is the petal? That's a good question. Let me see. So it is about four and three quarter inches from the top to the zip tie. This is poly burlap. Poly burlap. So now I've used this petal with just about all of the meshes. Okay. So we're going to start. I'm doing orange and then the multi look how gorgeous that is the multi orange multi and then our head legs and I'm gonna put a bow in between okay so let's just start getting these on here hopefully I counted right again if so we're on a roll, y'all. If y'all would float my boat, I would appreciate it. But see how you can just kind of spread that open just a little bit. You did make it right. <laughs> awesome. It is an easy pedal to make for sure. It's not like that daggum Star Truck pedal. Now, if you want it fuller, you can definitely fill the inside. It would even be cute to do this. And then if you're going to do the shared holes... Kind of lay that right over so it gives it like a layered effect that would be really cute i did add extra holes to this one using my wood burner you can use a drill if that's easier for you hello hello First time watching, well, welcome. I am Michelle from Monkey's Creations. So if you have any questions, let me know. Oh, grabbing the wrong color. Don't grab the wrong color. Thanks for floating my boat, y'all. We need more friends up in here. So 
I am doing last minute things to try and uh, get ready. I do leave to go out of town next Wednesday, bright and early, at like four o'clock in the morning. Um, so I am trying to get things done, y'all. Um, as soon as Ibeth Wright is going to be making our turkey heads. Um, so as soon as I have a link with pictures, I will post it. Marsha usually makes our turkey heads. Um, but she's, she's not going to be able to this year. So I don't know where that just went. So I reached out to Iveth last night and she's all in. Yes, I'll show the petal again. Yep. I'll show it actually two more times. All right, so there is our first row. Let's make the petal again. Now you can just use your rotary cutter to cut these. I do wood burn mine. Um, just it just it's just easier for me, and I don't have to worry about the phrase. Um, but you do not have to wood burn it because you're not seeing any of the cut edges. Okay, so it is ten by ten. I'm putting curved side up. Bring in my bottom to the middle. Bringing the top down, overlapping them. And I'm going to bring left to right. Bring those tips together. Okay. Do you know where to get the Diamond Painting Wood Senna's? You mentioned them a while. I got those from Amazon. Pinch. Just look for, gosh, that's been a while. Look for um, five or six inch. Um, diamond paintings, and that's where you'll find them. Um, I use a jigsaw to cut my board. Okay, zip it. Grab you another zip tie. Take those apart. You're welcome. Run another zip tie up through in between those layers. Yep, poly burlap. Walk the zip tie up. And zip it. Clip off those zip ties. Trim those edges so you don't have all of that excess in there. And then you're set to go. Okay? All right, let's get this next row done. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is going to be, y'all. Oh, is there one, Tina? There you go. Go on my web. See, she knows more about my business than I do. <laughs> Could you please do a close up of the process? Yes. The next time I make a petal, I will zoom y'all in. Kind of tugging that so try to get them even it is just a petal there's no way to get them all to look exactly the same I this I've had this mesh and it probably came from craft outlet probably last year or the year before <laughs> the 
does. See? She does, yo. Yeah. She knows more about my business than I do. Especially where my stuff's located. So you can manipulate them a little bit once you get them on. But if you go to like craft outlet or something like that, just pull up their fall mesh. And if they have it, it should be there. Good morning. gonna drive me bonkers. Get it up a little bit. There we go. Hello, hello. I do not have the SKU number. This is the large Unique in the Creek flower board cut in half. How did you glue on bubble wrap yesterday? Oh, I haven't. Um, I had to move it to the kitchen, um, but I'll go live in the VIP group here um, after this live and after I get something in my belly. She's talking about we've been playing with um, how to, to make new Senna's in the VIP group. So I made these with them yesterday and it's cute. Will you sell the half boards because I have no, ooh. Ay, 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 I would say probably not. Only because that would, if I open that up, it will take a huge chunk of my day to get those orders done. Um, oh, there you go, they have it on craft outlet y'all hey hey Nadia I got your package um I didn't open it right away because it was in an Amazon box and I was like oh that's just another Amazon order <laughs> and then I brought it inside and I was like oh shoot that's from Nadia so I'm gonna open it today it's been sitting by the front door and then I was like, okay, let's see what's in the Amazon box. And it was from you. I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> so it was from Amazon. I don't always open them up right away. <laughs> oh. So, yes, Nadia has some awesome stuff I'm gonna open and show y'all maybe I'll do it maybe I'll open the box here live after we're done here and see what's in it should I open it live Nadia <laughs> did you say where the extra I showed the um the back. Give me just a minute and I'll flip it over and um, and you can screenshot it. So there's the board. You did find them, Brenda? Awesome. All right. 
Um, I'm going to, I have only have one of the plaid left, so when I get to the next row, I'll show the petal one more time. But let's get these orange in real quick. Just pull up plaid mesh on Craft Outlet or go under their fall mesh. It'll be there. Just row one altered. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I only altered. Um, no, actually... I put one extra hole here, but you don't have to. You can just go to the edge of the board if you wanted. Um, but all of the others are just shared holes. To cut your board in half, I use a jigsaw. I have my own set of tools that nobody else in my house is allowed to touch. And my saw is one of them. <laughs> Nadia, are those on your website already? You're welcome. Yeah, you can do it with um, your wood burner, but this plastic is so thick um, that it will take you a while, but it can be done. But a jigsaw will cut right through it like butter. You're posting them now. Awesome. So hopefully by the time I get done and get that box... You'll be ready to rock and roll. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh my God, this is gonna be so stinking cute, y'all. more. Nope, I counted right. So far, so good. This is your first time watching. I never count right. I was never good at math. But we're right so far. <laughs> All right, let's get these cut. I am using my turkey attachment. I am, I am. All right, let's fold the petal one more time and I will zoom in. Get you right in there. I know, Crystal, right? <laughs> yes, I will, Stacy. Absolutely. All right, so 10 by 10, curve, make sure I stay in my little, my little lane, curve side up, diamond shape, we're bringing bottom to the middle, bringing top over, okay, so just like that, okay, now I'm bringing my hand just below where that tip is. Then we're going to bring left to right and match up the points. Okay, so this is what you have. Pinch it in the middle. Bring your edges to the middle. Grab you a zip tie.
zip tie that end. Grab you another zip tie. We're going to separate that middle. So those pieces of mesh. Okay, see? Take you another zip tie, run it right up under there. Zip it, walk it up. I zipped that one just a little too tight, but we'll get it there. Okay, and then zip it again. Hey, hey. Cut your zip ties. And I'm just going right in here and opening that up just a little bit more. Clip off your extra. And there's your petal. Okay. back out. I have not Charnella. I'm so far behind on messages trying to get all these orders out that I now I'm behind on messages. <laughs> I'll, I'll go check today. Okay, so now we're going to put in the rest of these. Hopefully I counted right again. Yep, you could definitely use a rubber band or a hair tie. It's just easier for me to use the zip ties, but you could use a band for sure. Is it a question about your order? Your order did go out, if that's what you're asking. <gasps> I counted right, y'all. Oh my gosh. You're welcome. What is this? Three times in a row I was right? Oh, okay. I'll go check. All right. So there's what we have so far. Look how awesome that is, y'all. <laughs> Carrie. All right. So... Here's my turkey head. All right, we are going to have to do two more petals. And I thought we might, but because I don't make these ahead of time, we usually have to figure it out as we go. So hopefully, y'all have watched me long enough to know that I wing just about everything. But I did count right for what I knew we needed. <laughs> so let's make two more petals really quick. Do y'all need me to zoom back in?
Um, the, this particular turkey head came from Marsha, but she is not going to be able to make these for us this year. Um, so I have enlisted Ibeth Wright, who's an amazing artist. Um, so she will be making our turkey heads. Um, just give me a little bit of time um, and I'll get those posted for you once I get pictures and she gets them listed. Hey, hey. Okay, so see how I just walked that zip tie up and then zip it, zip it and clip it. Zip, clip, cut. Okay, so I'm thinking we're gonna need one right there and one right there. You're late, you're late. All right, so bottom up, top down. Tip to tip. Scrunch middle, bring your sides in. This is the part you can use a zip tie or you can use your hair ties, whichever you prefer. We have a turkey head or just the eagle head. Got a whole wide egg, I know that. Okay, separate them, take another zip tie. Now, if you want to leave it just like that for a bigger, wider petal, you can. But I walk all the way up. This just elongates my petal, so it makes it a little bit bigger. Ha, 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 Lynn. Zip it. Clip it. And cut it. Okay, so let's see if that is enough. Let me bring y'all back out. Hello, hello. So if we put, now see, that's gonna drive me nuts. I'm thinking we're going to need one more, y'all, because that being odd and open, but look, I'm so good. I had extras already cut. Hello. I like the bright colors too. But I love this fall because it brings out the burgundies, the naturals, the oranges. And then I was like, we can do this bow that brings out the burgundy, or we can do this one that has the orange and we can add some blue. How far am I overlapping? I'm just gonna put them in the next zip tie, in the next set of holes. Is that what you're asking? All right, so I'm gonna go here to the outside of the board. I'll turn it over and show y'all. Y'all, I actually ran out of glue sticks. How in the heck 
does that happen? So my delivery's supposed to be here tomorrow. But y'all, I was like, that can never happen again. <laughs> All right, so let's add this here, and let's see if it's enough. Like, I've never run out of, where's my, where's my needle nose? I've never run out of glue sticks, but I did, y'all. Put one here. And let's see what one, gosh, I'm going to make one more, y'all, one more, and I'm going to put two in that center. next to your ribbon. No, those are my nippers. What the heck? Oh, I just made the last one. Sorry, I should have slowed that down. I wasn't thinking. or under my zip tie gun. Oh, y'all so smart. <laughs> y'all so smart. All right, so I'm gonna put two there. Okay, so that's what I did. Oh, I don't know how that went. I'm gonna move that so where it's there. And then I'm putting two right here in the middle. Yes. I've never bought mesh from Amazon, so I honestly can't tell you whether it's good or not. Um, all I can say if it's like Craig Bachman mesh, then it's the exact same mesh you would get from Craft Outlet, from Unique in the Creek, those kinds of things. Um, but Unique in the Creek, check Unique in the Creek. They might have, I know she has a lot of poly burlap. I'm just not sure what colors. So I like that much better. All right, so let's add our legs. And I should have done that before I added all these petals. <laughs> Just lift these up a little bit and see where I want these. I'm going to take my glasses off for a minute, y'all, so I make sure I get these. exact same. So 
I'm actually going to, let me grab another zip tie for now. Now, usually I make this on a large flower board, y'all. So, I'm trying to figure this out. But we can't see the legs coming up above the head, can we? <laughs> I know what we can do. Hold on. Y'all hang with me. Let's just move these down and in. That's what we'll do. Thanks for the stars. Alright, so I'm going to move these right to the middle. There we go. There we go. Now these legs are white. No, these are not. But we'll play with them. Hold on. Let me grab a pipe cleaner. I have her legs backwards. No, I don't. The seam's on the back. Okay, and I'm just going to take a pipe cleaner, run it right through there. I'm not going to pull this hard because I did just put this on there. Yeah, Marsha made these legs as well. So... I'm putting it right over the same and the same, maybe. Yep, same hole. Try not to pull it super tight. I may have to make one more orange. I had to bring these down to cover the side of the board. So I may make one more orange, but right here, I'm gonna make a bow. And I'm thinking, and the legs may not even stay, y'all. I just wanna see what it's gonna look like. Thanks for the stars. Let's just make a simple bow. I'm not going to make a big, big bow. Let's do a five inch loop. But this will help bring that burgundy out in that mesh. And it still has the orange and the naturals in it. So I think this ribbon will be perfect. Do two and two. So I do I'm doing two five inch and two four inch. I 
I use a jigsaw to cut my boards. And I don't think we need it any bigger than that. I lied. We're going to do one more loop on each side at three inches. And I may move the head. Like I said, I don't know. Grab another pipe right off. But I know she's a girl, so she definitely needs a bow. A little bit different bow for me, but little bow. Now let's see if this works. I may not use the legs at all. And I'm not. I'm not going to use the legs, y'all. those out of there. See, you don't know till it starts coming together. turkey. Well, mine does. What you talking about? <laughs> mine does. Your dog's talking to mine. <laughs> there. 
they're having a cow. One of my son's friends is here and he has two baby pit bulls, so I won't allow mine outside while they're doing their business. So mine are going, going nuts. There we go. I will probably, I will move where I had the um, the cable mount. I'll move it a little bit higher so that, hey, 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 so that this will sit a little bit nicer. But look how cute. Try the legs again under the bow. Maybe if I let them dangle a little bit lower, that's actually kind of cute now that I have the boat on there. Enough. Sorry, y'all. Usually they listen to me, but they're not listening to me now. Come on, girl. Put your legs together. Girl, we can't have none of that. Okay, actually, I think it's really cute now with the legs, y'all. She just looks kind of stumpy. So I may even bring the head up just one more notch so that it sits up a little bit more. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. Lord, there's so many pipe cleaners back here, y'all. I don't know what I'm grabbing. What a mess. Who made this mess? can't get that figured out. Hold on, I think I got it. Look, y'all. I was going to try to see if I could take the head off and bring it up higher. But these dang legs. See, I wanna let's see if I can bring it right up. y'all like that more? I think I like that a little bit more. Probably make one more petal to go right behind there because it looks a little bit off to me. Um, but I think I like that one a whole lot better. 
So that's what I'm going with. That's what I'm going with, y'all. And I'm going to stick to it. <laughs> All right, that's it. Actually, I'm going to show you that box. Um, let me grab. How did you get through there? How did you get in here? Look, they are going nuts, y'all. <clears throat> So let's open the Amazon box that wasn't Amazon like I thought it was. And let's see what's in here. With the half full, oh, that, it went by too quick, y'all. Didn't see that comment. Nadia put a lot of work into these. Now, when we were, I, and I love doing collaborations with people, so she had messaged me. She saw something I did. It reminded her of this and this, like we all do. You know, I get inspiration from y'all. Y'all get inspiration from me. But in her head, she came up with like a mobile, like a baby mobile. And I don't remember right now what it was. Um, but I don't remember what I made, but it immediately made her think of a, a mobile, like a baby mobile. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, it would hang like that. So this would go on and hook to what we're going to put it to. Um, and I'm going to work that out hopefully this weekend and we'll get this together. But look how cute that is with the little um, uh, um, uh, clouds. Isn't that adorable for like a mobile with the clouds hanging down? Super, super cute. And I love these accents with the stars and the moon. Yeah, one of us are going to make the mobile live. Um, I'm hoping to get it done before I um, I leave to go out of town next week. So hopefully this weekend, but this is super stinking cute. So hopefully she has them listed for y'all. Um, and she can, I think she can customize the names um, on here. Um, super stinking cute. Awesome job, Nadia. Awesome, awesome. All right, y'all. That's all I've got. Um, Nadia's Crafty Corner, right there's her website. Um, she is, or her Etsy. She is on Etsy. Um, so y'all can go check her out there. Um, the kit, the cat kit is on my website. So if you want this cute cat that you could turn into Halloween or just an everyday black cat wreath. Um, it's on my website at monkeyscreations.com. So you get the um, character board, you get the cat vinyl, you get 200 yards of the black tool and your zip ties. So those are at monkeyscreations.com. You can check out um, Nadia's um, on Etsy. Tina got her link on there for y'all. So I will hope, I'm gonna try to get this together soon and do that for y'all before I leave um, so what is today oh my god it's already Thursday y'all and tomorrow's free Friday and I'm in the VIP group Saturday <laughs> maybe Monday I'll, I'll shoot for Monday y'all but I will definitely see y'all tomorrow for free Friday um, VIP we will see you tonight for wreath critique 
and um, that's all I got. I'm going to go take pictures of the cute turkey. And as soon as I get pictures from Ivith, um, I will tell y'all where to get those as well. All right. Have an awesome day. Bye, y'all.